But have you tried your layers? Well, check the layers. You gotta make sure that the one you wanna adjust is turned on. You know, the little eyeball? Yeah. Oh, you wanna know about some layers too? I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, so go ahead and check on that. See, I'm trying to tell you, it's not that difficult to work with layers once you know what the options are there. Word up, all right, cool, 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 cool. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I am a 2D illustrator, and I am here to walk you through the layers options in Sketchable. Let's get started by opening our Sketchable app available from the Microsoft Store and Windows 10 devices. Oh yes, and we're back. We're back at the drawing that I left off last time, and look at that beautiful color. I love it. All right, so let's check it out. What are layers? How do we use layers? What are they for? Oh, it's amazing what you can do with layers. It's really amazing. Let me show you some more about this. So re you remember, let me get rid of some of these things here. Re you remember that I have been working on my drawing and showing you the different brushes and I've been messing with this side over here. This is called the layers. And I can make as many layers as I want or get rid of the, the layers with the trash can. On the right hand side is where our layers are. On the left hand side, we have a ton of um, options and uh, settings that we can adjust. But this one right here is the transform tool. And this one down here is the layers. And I'm gonna show you how they work together. So before um, I started working on this color, I made a layer. So see, I can turn off the layer. And this is a little um, square, but in uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, and most major programs, there's an eyeball there. And so when you turn it, make sure turn it off and on, all you're doing is clicking on this little square here and turning off that layer. If you want a layer to disappear, but not delete it, you can just turn it off. And now there it is. You got, you have put away the layer, made it disappear, but it's still part of the program. It's still part of the file and the document. If you don't want it anymore, you can just hit that trash can right here. Make sure the layer you want to get rid of is selected and then click on the trash can and it's gone. Boom, that's it, where did it go, where did it go? In the layers window, you can also turn down the opacity and you see me do this in some of the videos and I turn down the opacity, uh, create a new layer by adding, clicking on the plus button here, add layer, boom. And now I can draw whatever I want on this new layer. So let me just go ahead and get fancy with it. Let's go ahead and work on this right here. So now, oh, oh, did I choose the right layer? Let's double check. Yes, this is the right layer. It just looks, uh, oh yeah, my flow and opacity are real low. Let's turn them up. There we go. Now, yes. And so as I'm tracing over my old drawing, I am able to turn off the old drawing to see what my tracing looks like. And I use the layers to my advantage to make sure that I am drawing the new drawing on a different layer so that later I can get rid of the old drawing and you don't see that in my finished design. This is very effective when also when coloring. And uh, let's go ahead and add a new layer, put that layer down here. Come on, change the color, boom. And then I start drawing inside. And see, if I decide later that I wanna change the color, I can either draw it again or use this layer to change the color that in that in this, uh, that I have in the drawing. But because I made sure that the color was in this layer, I don't have to bother that layer at all. So now let's turn on the layers. So see, we got some layers right here. Right, there's the layer icon. Um, oh, it's the one right over, the one I want. This one right here, boom. See, now we have some layer settings. These layer settings also exist out here on the right-hand side where the other layers are, including changing your blend mode and the opacity. However, the big advantage that comes with these layer settings here is that you can also lock the transparency of the layer 
get you another color. And then let me just make this bigger and then watch. I changed that color. I don't even have to change the color. I could actually use it in a blending kind of way. Look at that. Uh huh. <laughs> I didn't like the last little bit, but you get the point. There we go. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful. And then when I'm done with that setting, I turn it off. Yes, I could, let's see, clear it. Undo that. Let's go back to the undo. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Or fill it. Let's see. Boom. Now I fill that whole layer with the color that I had last chosen. I don't want that. Go back. Bam. There it is. Very easily to make edits and adjustments when you have the power of layers. This is great because when if I want to make adjustments on that line work, I don't have to bother the color at all. So now, what else can we do with layers? Well, we have another tool up here, of course, the transform tool. The transform tool has a menu of different things. What if I wanted to change the size? So let me lock my proportions and look when I change the size it, the proportions don't change but I can change the size of that layer if I don't want it just exit out come back what if I wanted to flip it let me exit that out and get it closer what if I want to flip it no problem let's flip it horizontally or vertically beautiful let's rotate it oh that turn off rotation let me see it works or turn on rotation. I wanna, I wanna say that this was a on and off. I'm sure it's something in there that has to do with that. Oh, I did not, I did not like my uh, proportions. So I was gonna get out of whack. Mm, don't like that. And then this would be the scale, and this would be the rotate. Huh. But if I turn them off, they still rotate, it's still there. So I wonder how we're supposed to use that in the future, we'll see. And then again, we have more settings, so let's click on the settings, and I can have uh, transform by numbers. Look at that. <laughs> Oof. It's weird. No, just exit out. <laughs> Now, this is helpful. Um, these tools are helpful, especially when I want to move that drawing. Let's say that this drawing is too big. Um, I want it a small version over here on this top corner, right? So I'm going to duplicate this layer by using this plus duplicate layer icon. Boom. Now I got two of the same. See, so let me turn that one down so we know which one's which. Let me go to my transform tool and I'm going to lock the proportion, grab a corner, and then go here. And that can be my reference. And okay it, there it is. There's that one, and then there's this one. I have two of the same layer. Now, let me turn these back on. And let's say that I want these to be in one layer now. Layer two, which is the outline. Layer three, which is the color, and I want them to be in the same layer. So that's what this little arrow is for, merge layer. And I can have two choices. I can merge all the layers that are visible, or I can just merge down. And in this case, I just want to merge down. Boom. So now these two live in a layer together. They're roommates. This is Digital Drawing with DTM, and I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe to get more sketchable insights. Until next time.